So, okay, so I think this is interesting because right before the show started, you kind of talked to us about like your evolution a little yeah. bit as a person and maybe why you are a fuck boy, right? Do you want to yeah. talk about that a little bit? Because I thought that was really interesting and maybe people see like a different side of you. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't really till the TV show ended up, you know, coming out fully airing and then me like looking in the mirror, like seeing text messages or DMs or like every message was like, yo, go kill yourself, go kill yourself. Then you had a bunch of like, you know, alpha dudes who were like, yeah, fuck yeah, you do the right thing. <laughs> like, and it wasn't until kind of that time where I was like, man, did I really do the wrong thing? Like, what's wrong with me? Why? And then I started questioning like every relationship. I actually send it, sent like text messages to like every girl, like almost every girl that I dated and was like, hey, like, I'm sorry that like I did X, Y, and Z. I just feel like I need to like, let you know to get it off my chest. So I definitely had some introspection during that time. And then I found my birth mom. And uh, my sister asked, like, during that Christmas, she was like, hey, do you want to figure out, like, who your birth mom is, everything like that? So she went on Russian Facebook, kind of right around, like, the time that Russia and Ukraine stuff was happening. So I got to talk to my mom briefly, found out that I was taken away at birth. They told her I was dead, sold me on the black market, um, born in St. Petersburg. Orphanage was in Moscow. I didn't get picked out until I was about two years old. Talked to a therapist and was like, what's wrong with me? Like... You know, have these abandonment issues. Um, I, this is this is after you found your birth mom that you. Yeah, I started talking to a therapist, and I was just like, "Hey, like, you know, what's wrong with me? Like, this is what every single relationship's been like." And then when I met you guys, and I just got out of a relationship with a girl that like I really loved, I realized like I pushed all these boundaries with every girl that I'm with to see like how much they truly love me, so they won't leave me. And I always knew I had like these abandonment issues, but I never went fully in depth with it until I really pushed away someone that like I really loved. And like, I think that pain that I felt after that relationship helped me learn. And I mm -hmm. feel like a lot of times like we learn from pain and I feel like now I'm kind of in this phase where it's like, all right, time to learn from love. I've done enough fucking up. Time to, you know, step it up. Yeah. Be a better person. I think that's awesome. I mean, we always talk about like, uh, there's always things that happen in life and there's two ways to go about them, right? Like you can take one road that's probably not the best for you or you can take the other road where it's like like you're doing, right? This is what happened. People think of me this way. Let me look in the mirror and figure out, do I want to evolve or do yeah. I want to keep being this person of me who's not not what I truly feel, right? And I think yeah. you didn't feel like yourself. Then you got this outside image saying this is how you are and you're yeah. like, shit. I want to get to understand who I am more. And yeah. I think it's super cool, actually. Yeah, we sat there and I was like, my parents didn't raise me like this. And, you know, kind of what you're talking about before this in regards to like your girl is like, I've realized that I'm the guy who have, who's caused all those traumas to those girls for their future relationships. And that's why it started like fucking me up. Like I was like, shit, like no girl's going to trust like the next person that they're with because of how I moved and like my traumas from like, you know, and that's why I was like, I was like, no, nothing bad has happened in my life. Like I have two most loving adopted parents ever. They're the most amazing parents. Like I consider them my real parents. I'm like what is going on? Why do I keep doing this? Why do I have five girls on the side just in case like my heart gets broken? Or like when, you know, a girl does something like I act kind of like passive aggressive and then I see like, will they, you know, come love me more so then I can get that validation. And I was like, what am I doing? And I kind of learned it all through that process and I mean, how all those traumas that happened to me at such an early age have, you know, they've, they've been spilled onto other people and it's bled into like their relationships. And I think that's kind of what like messes me up because some of the relationships I had do were, they did not end well. And you had said prior to the part of getting on air that you had cheated on every, every girlfriend you've ever dated, you, yeah, every girlfriend that I've ever dated, I cheated on except the last one, even though she's going to consider, technically we were talking for like six to eight months and during that six to eight month time, like I was hooking up with other girls, she didn't know. And then when I asked her my girlfriend, I told her like two weeks before I asked her my girlfriend, I was like, yeah, I fucked someone. And then I told her that like, I'm, yeah, and then she was like, yo, what? Like, <laughs> how would you feel if I did that? And I was like, yeah, you're right. I would never speak to you. Yeah. I mean, even after how we started in the beginning, like when we were, I was hooking up with other girls and she knew and like they were friends. I was, it was one of those things where if she did that to me, I would have never spoken to her again. Yeah. So, yeah. You're learning, bro. You're evolving, right? Evolving. You're going from Genghis Khan to like <laughs> uh, the Dalai Lama, it seems like. Uh, yeah, and, and it's super interesting because 
it seems like the show really did help you in the in the grand scheme of life, right? Maybe yeah. in the short term of the show and after the show, it was, it was like, shit, you're getting all these threats and, you know, yeah. terrible messages. But from talking to you, like, I don't really know you well. We met once and now we're getting to know each other here. You seem like a genuine good dude who's, like, self-aware and at least taking the steps to be the best person he could be, which is awesome in my eyes, you know? Yeah. I think that that show was, you know, kind of a blessing from God as like a wake up call. And I think my last relationship was truly a blessing from God on like that person that I was with is exactly who I want in a wife. I just pushed the boundaries too far and I didn't do anything that was like, in my eyes would be catastrophic in a relationship. But ultimately at the end of the day, like I pushed the boundaries and you can only go so far until you push someone over the edge. Yeah. Is there any hope for a future potentially or is it? You know, it's done? funny. She reached out to me like right before, like around like Christmas time and we chopped it up for a little bit, but how she reached out to me was so immature. It was very like ego driven of like, you follow this person X, Y, and Z. Uh, like, I can't believe that you would do that. It's the one person that I wouldn't want you to follow. And I'm like, what are you talking about? So it about? wasn't like Merry Christmas. I wish. <laughs> no, it year. wasn't, it was like, but it ended up turning into like a giant thing, like of like apologize to me at X, Y, and Z. And then it was, you know what? Maybe like this chat has opened up a door where we can become friends. And then immediately, like, I think a day after that, like I posted some chick on my story. That was it. She blocked me again. <laughs> Wow. Fully. So I was just like, all right. Um, wait, so where are you from originally besides Russia? Like uh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Okay. Steelers fan, baby. We didn't make the playoffs. Yeah. I, was I, 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 I like the Steelers. I dig the Steelers. Hey, um, so I guess my question is going to be, though, like, do you, because I think sometimes, like, living in, in LA, right, living in West Hollywood, Beverly Hills, like, I think we kind of are in our own bubble, right? Yeah. So do you think that, like, being here specifically has, like, you know, adds, like, it makes it easier to be a fuckboy and, like, I think like instead of like, you know, like a wholesome relationship, I, th I think it's very hard to, especially being in the entertainment world. Yeah. Obviously being on the show you're on, like do you, you find it tough here specifically. That's a great question. <laughs> um, as far as like, if I wanted to just get laid, is it hard here? Absolutely not. As far as like having a healthy relationship based off seeing like what my parents have and like how amazing they are and seeing how, you know, there's all of these different variables and it really comes down to that. I was double majored in business and math. It's like this multivariate analysis that like you have here where there's so many different variables that come into it. Oh, you know, do I want to date this girl because she'll help me with my social status? Do I want to date this person because of, you know, she's just hot as shit? Like, do I want to, it's, when it comes down to that and like the morals and like really trying to find someone here, dude, it's fucked. Yeah. And that's what I've realized because I'm finally at this pace because bro before i didn't give a shit i was like all right cool like i had five girls lined up this week this is gonna be fun all baddies all like have a bunch of clout dude literally girls that this world like people like just dream of that they drool over and for me it was like i didn't care at all and now i'm in this phase where i'm like <clears throat> i sit here and i'm like i kind of want a good girl and it's it's hard to find kinda, kinda yeah i was gonna want. say do you actually mean that no i I'm in this phase where I'm like, and I told you guys this when I saw you um, on that hike, is I'm in this phase right now, it's where I need to build my career, I need to build everything that I'm doing and then the right person will come in mm -hmm. to like my life, I truly believe that. Like if I do everything that I need to do the right way, like the right girl will come in. And I've had opportunities where I've been out in the club like super fucked up late night and I'm like, yo, I could smash this chick right now, but I'm like, no, you know what, I'm not going to. And the next day I'm like, you know what, I'm done going to the club, I'm done going out. I'm not attracting the right people here. If I put myself in these certain positions, like I'm going to only attract what I'm putting out. And I need to put myself in positions where I would attract someone who ideally would want, I think would be my wife.